Afternoon all, welcome to Archant Towers, uh, signing number 14 through the door. David Freezer here alongside our Chief Norwich City correspondent, Paddy Davitt. Uh, Grant Hanley is that man, signed from Newcastle. We think it's about three and a half million, don't we? So uh, a fairly big outlay from Norwich, but is this the signing that you, you think they needed ahead, ahead of deadline day? I think, it, I think it is, yeah, I think it is. I mean, uh, obviously now we're all getting very, uh, very boned up on the guy's uh, back history and uh, where he's been. And obviously, it hasn't quite worked for him at Newcastle by his own admission. But uh, prior to that, you know, at Blackburn, he, he he looked very solid. And in his own words, no nonsense centre half. And they certainly could do one or two of those because uh, without having to go back to the goals against Colum, uh, it's desperately needed something that is a bit more solid than what they've been showing so I think it's uh, potentially it's a good move but with the caveat that this is a guy who hasn't played a lot of football in the last 12 months so again I think it might be one of those that doesn't hit the ground running immediately but um, he's, he's talking a good game and uh, you know we've just seen a few quotes flying about Paul Lambert calls him a colossus um, it's not a bad uh, way to be teed up is it no, no, <laughs> no pressure no, no uh, <laughs> You know, I think most punters in this part of the world would take take that man's um, that man's word. So, um, if that is the case, then uh, I think they've got a much needed defensive ballast. Okay. Um, obviously, that defeat at Millwall, horrific four 0 is still fresh in the memory for for all of you guys, I'm sure. Um, and that appears to have prompted Stuart Webber and Daniel Farker into making mm. this move. Really, I mean, we also saw Aidan Flint linked from Bristol City in the last couple of days but I guess that um, Hanley coming in means that that was the one of those two options they were, they've gone for. Um, what do you make of Farker's comments of, uh, along those lines of the fact that um, they felt they needed to go and get extra defensive um, uh, extra defensive cover or, or competition? Yeah, I think it's ultimately symptomatic of what has been a very challenging start defensively, you know, 12 goals in five league games. I'm trying to pick up my uh, <laughs> di diplomacy uh, vocabulary, but, um, you know, I've said it a few times today. I think if Mezzas, Zimmerman, Franca, and a fit closer had, uh, had been up to the mark, hmm. I don't think we'd be seeing Grant Hanley through the door. So, it, yes, it's clearly a recognition of they feel. Um, in terms of Stuart Webber and, and Daniel Farker, that they haven't got enough in the building at the minute, and um, you know I think five games and the, the nature of those five games is, is more than enough evidence to show that they really did need to act, and, and I think it's very timely that they've, they've gone out and done this bit of business, because um, as I say, you know, it, it might not be the most accomplished on the ball, but he certainly would appear chart in his career history, and, and as, as I say, some testimonials from people who should know who've worked with him that. He will give them that leadership and that presence in the, their own defensive third, which sadly has been lacking um, to this point, albeit early days. But uh, yeah, I think everything you've you've heard from Farker since the deal was confirmed tells you that he knew he didn't have enough in the building and uh, they needed to bring somebody in. Um, worth reiterating, a guy who knows the championship, played 200 odd games for Blackburn at this level. So, you know, he won't be surprised when they when they go to Burton away on a Tuesday night or whatever and, uh, and the balls are getting fired into the box and it's can you win your battles, can you can you clear your lines. Um, so, yeah, on the face of it, I think it's a good good, good bit of business. Yeah, and uh, probably, I think, the, the last major deal of what's been a fairly hectic summer. He's away with Scotland at the moment, isn't he? So he's um, Scotland teammates with Stephen Naismith and Russell Martin, so I guess that will help him to, to settle yeah. in. To put into context quite how bad the defensive start has been, uh, they've conceded 12 in those five games. Only one other team has conceded um, double figures so far. That's Bolton, who are bottom and have been under a transfer embargo for quite a long time. So um, if that doesn't show you that they needed to do something, then, uh, <laughs> then nothing really will, I, I would imagine. Um, just one final question for you, Pad, before we uh, let you crack on with tomorrow's back pages. Um, with closer fit and um, Grant Hanley now in the building, do you think that that opens up the possibility or increases the possibility that they might look at bringing back the back three yeah. with wing backs now? Or do you think that Farker just wants uh, flexibility to be able to operate in either way? Well, yes and yes. I, mean, I think because we saw the majority of the games in pre-season, he did prefer the three with the two wing backs. 
now you wouldn't have you wouldn't have because effectively you're experimenting in pre-season for what you want to go with in, in, in the real business as it were so that to me quite clearly signals that he would prefer to play three at the back now if if you bring in Hanley you've got to fit again close to the other side of the win, uh, the transfer window slash international break I think those two are are going to be starters come what may in whatever system and then it's a maybe you throw a a, a Franca slash Russell Martin in in a three um, in a in a flat back four I think it's probably going to be Hanley and Close to start with so yes certainly it's another body in another key area of the pitch uh, effectively Farker has now got two new centre backs because of it, we know he hasn't had Closer at all all through this early part of the season so so it almost feels like in that regard. Um, he has two new centre-back op options to throw into the mix for, for Birmingham, the other side of the break. So, um, yeah, it will be interesting to see how he goes and uh, whether it's a, a three with a Pinto certainly on the right and maybe Husband slash Steeperman on the left or whether he, he feels it's more uh, more solid uh, to go with a four. Personally, I think it will go with a three, yeah. I mean, that sounds quite nice. You've got two international centre-backs there if you have got two in handling and closer. But, um, like I say, Steeperman, Husband, Pinto... Wing backs does seem to sit, sit, suit them as well, so um, that would be interesting. And I think we've probably seen closers, some of closest best games on the left of the three. So um, some options coming through. Let's uh, let's hope that they uh, they kick on. Um, right, we will leave it there. Um, deadline day tomorrow, as I'm sure you're aware, um, ahead of that 11 o'clock deadline. Uh, Mark Armstrong will be your man with our deadline day blog from about nine o'clock in the morning, and we're uh, I believe. We're both on the late stint, aren't we? And I'm sure Mr. Bailey will uh, pop in at some point as well, and uh, we'll uh, have plenty of video content for for you throughout the day and late into the into the evening. I mean, uh, not too late, though. Not, not too, too late, late, but they have gone very late. Uh, a few recent no, I don't years. I think they will this so. time around. Yeah. No, but perhaps maybe a couple more hours yeah, but, of the fringe players. You need to keep watching the blog, obviously. It goes absolutely, right, so. absolutely. And the videos throughout the day. <laughs> and we'll keep you up to date with everything else that's going on in the championship as well. Um, got uh, a story going up this evening, in fact, which has uh, got some of the deals to watch out for in the championship. Right, so we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers.